everybody. Hola, labas, privet. How are you doing? If uh, you forgot, this is Yurgita with the J and uh, with Magic Pond Crafts and the mania is over. So crazy mania in May and lots of things happened in the month of May, uh, at least for me, which probably for you, some of you too, especially if you had kids, right? So I wrote down some scribbling so I wouldn't forget them. Um, so I don't know if, uh, how to do, like, um, I'll incorporate some of my life happenings with my uh, second part of uh, Mania Whips. So it would be Mania Part 2. And in total, I did 16 projects in May. So it's about a couple of days for each. Um, so we'll talk... Um, What's going on? So first, in May started my eldest, our eldest son's um, honor society induction. So he was in German honor society and the national honor society inductee. And we had a nice dinner and there was of course like a big ceremony with candles and the, the talks and all kinds of stuff. So that was fun. Um, and then uh, month of May, um, got slightly messed up because we had to go in the funeral my uh, one of my best friends mom who was like my sort of stand in mom in america she was battling cancer and uh, suddenly passed away um so we had to go in the funeral and was helping out to prepare for that um luckily it was on the weekend so my husband didn't have to take off time of work a lot um, and uh, we were putting together like a pictures to put on our big boards of her life and that made me start thinking um, you know all my pictures are pretty much are digital and wouldn't it be fun to actually look at them you know like flipping pages so I started when I came home started looking uh, through all my digital pictures that I had on the camera or on the computer and I'm gonna start uh, printing them at least the um, most fun ones out so we can just reminisce on, even with the kids and say oh remember this when it happened because I have on my phone pictures from like 2012 um, some of the most interesting that was left so the funeral went beautiful, the weather was perfect. We stayed on, in a um, beach house um, that was sort of loaned for um, my, girl, uh, my friends, family. And uh, after the funeral, we had uh, um, sort of like uh, celebrating the lady's life because she loved the beach, she loved the water. And so we spent the whole evening in there and it was the most beautiful sunset. I've met a um, young lady, uh, her name is Akiana Kramarik. I actually didn't know that she was super famous. She was just so down to earth and she was with the, her parents at the gathering and the funeral. And she apparently was, was and is a child prodigy, um, famous for her painting. She traveled the world. She was a, a, like an... Um, Oprah show at age nine with her paintings. It's most beautiful. I'll put down the link on her Facebook. You can get the prints. Um, she does even like I think commissions. I mean her paintings are just so realistic. She self thought. Um, um, I, I I watched her life story. <laughs> Uh, she self-taught herself how to paint. Um, her beginning of life was very hard and um, they were all homeschooled and but a different style than the typical regular homeschooling um, and uh, her brother was at age eight pronounced the youngest philosopher poet um, painter so it was it was very nice to meet uh, her and um, like I said she was so simple down to earth and um, it was amazing and um, uh, you'll see if you look your newest painting and it's spelled R-E-D-A, which was the lady's name um, that the funeral was to. So, um, yeah. So that, and the next day was 
most dreary day, but the, the funeral day uh, and evening was just perfect, the scenery. So we came home and then back to regular life, you know, and uh, since all my three kids are in scouts, so one of them had to work at the DQ as a fundraising. Um, and then the Mother's Day came up actually in Lithuania, where I'm from, the Mother's Day is always the first Sunday in May. And in the US, it happened week after. So I got to celebrate Mother's Day twice. Um, so I didn't do anything special. I just wanted the um, kind of relaxation and things. Um, but the, what I love of the, about the philosophy community and students community, if you watched previous video, um, I asked I mentioned a certain movie that I've seen almost like 20 years ago and it went so deep in my memory that I was looking for it but I didn't know what it was called. So almost immediately like next day one of the viewers wrote to me what it was called and right away I went online and I found it and it's called in English Quack. Quack. I was not sure it would be original. It's a Polish and you can get it in an TSC format, which is in um, English subtitles. And well, this was the main character. And I remember pretty much everything exactly as it was, except how he, uh, how his wife left him. I couldn't remember exact that part, but yeah. So the quack. Um, if you like interesting stories, I highly re recommend it. I don't know if you libraries would have it, but it was not a lot to get on like an Amazon. Um, so yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for telling me what was it, was it called. I watched it right away. So yeah. So uh, let's see. We had, so the Mother's Day, then we had my chorus um, annual installation dinner where um, old members of the board um, uh, turn in all the stuff to the new board members and there were some awards given and actually I got one award hold on forgot to grab it I was so stunned when my name was called for it because I didn't think I would ever get it um, it's called Sassy Award which is Sweet Adeline's like superstar of the year so chorus members um, put somebody's name in the nomination and explain why they're nominating uh, to that person who's done a lot throughout like, that year. And you can get only one time this award while you're in this course. So, so yeah, I've got it and it's, there it is, sassy. And if you live in St. Louis area and you like to sing, <laughs> there's my pitch. Um, my chorus is going to have an open house on the 26th of June or 29th. It's on, anyway, it's on Tuesday rehearsal. So, but I was very, very um, proud to get it. It's a heavy thing and it's engraved. Um, I was very surprised and touched that I got such a word. I didn't ex totally didn't expect I was nominating somebody else. Um, so we had a very nice dinner there and um, went home. Um, then my my middle kid uh, was uh, he plays the trumpet in uh, seventh grader well last year this past year was seventh grader and uh, it was a spring concert and he's in a concert band and the first time in the jazz band so he loved it both uh, times to play and uh, during that time my daughter started to feel kind of hot while we were watching the concert so I brought her home and then all three of us got sick coughing fever uh hard to breathe my sinuses really was messing up so it turns out um for them it went fast for me no of course no so i had to go even to the doctor because nothing was helping and i got bronchitis upper lungs so all kinds of medication and and then my husband caught it uh but his went even worse um it's been like 12 days and he has pneumonia um yeah so it's only one kid that left and scratched. <laughs> um, I have my scribblings down below, uh, below you. Um, 
So the school is over, of course, you know, um, and I was helping out at the elementary school. They have a carnival each year where they bring rides and uh, inflatable games. And uh, I was uh, helping out with the painting on the faces or arms and some of the patterns that were not included, but I, um, I was willing to paint. There was like Michael Jordan sign and Batman signs and all kinds of things, you know, that unicorns painted <laughs> kind of everywhere. So it was, it was fun, but exhausting. Um, so all three kids finished school, um, and we had sort of celebration. Um, my daughter had, uh, one of the friends staying over first time, like a sleepover. And then my, um, upcoming senior in high school had a bunch of his friends over in our house. Um, they went to bowling and movie theater and uh, spent the night. Um, so that was loud. Bunch of, you know, tall guys. I felt like a midget between them. Um, so that was cool. And we had in America Memorial Day, which we didn't go do shopping or anything special to that because we're still feeling icky. Um, so in the May... May, May, stitchy, stitchy, stitchy. Um, so I'll maybe start um, not in a row. By the way, I just joined Instagram first time ever. And um, right now the, the name is the same as my channel without any dots or anything like magic palm crafts as a one word. But I was gonna ask you, what do you think? Is it easier to see and find the names if they have like underscore in between uh, words or it's easier if it's one long word? Um, what is your experience? I'm still kind of learning what this Instagram is all about because it's a huge thing, you know. Uh, it's a lot of things to see and uh, uh, started posting my uh, all Stitch Mania projects day by day kind of thing or by second day kind of thing so uh, what i'm gonna show you is the second part of stitch mania since i've been blabbing blabbing for quite a bit it's not gonna be in exact row how i stitch but um if you want to go check it out on my instagram by pictures so one of the things i worked uh so what i did in the stitch mania was three projects left from last year's stitch mania and uh, I had another, um, I changed on one thing for my plans. Um, so I worked on this Dimensions Butterfly and Daisies kit. And um, if I have a picture, I'll show you what it was the last time I stitched on it. And uh, I hope I'm not gonna move you. I didn't do that much, so mostly worked filling in and back stitching these um, daisies, flowers. I didn't do anything on that side, so just this part and the leaves and going down and up. So that was my uh, one of the whips not a new star but it was my whip i'm gonna set it down here then very shortly from previous year um it was heaven and earth what is this so it's this lion um of course the printed uh, colors are not the same because I'll show you what um, I didn't do of course a lot because it was stitch mania so I just continued working and I love those kind of lavender colors it's, it's weird not to see just the blue but um, just worked uh, a little bit more there's some sparkling going on so that crying a little bit puts a little bit more extra work uh, to get through uh, one of the new starts was I don't think I showed you last time. It was by um, Janice Note of Noteworthy Needle. It was this teacher's spell, and I was hoping to 
to do it as a um, gift for a teacher's, but I, um, my belly that I picked it was not good size. So, so it's gonna look like that. And uh, I finished stitching except uh, blackboard. I used all DMC colors. And on the blackboard, I just want to put down um, like a teacher's name uh, or the classroom or something like that. So that's why uh, once I find out that my bucket wouldn't fit, if it's a little bit too short in the height, I just left it like it is. So that's what I have as a full. So it's just a, like a back stitching, some words in white will need to be done. Everything is finished. Um, the notebook and the books. Yep, so I can see. So that was all done except the writing. And then of course, you know, fully finishing. And usually you can use uh, like a gentle arc threads, but I thought small project. I'm gonna move it out and then I started a free pattern from uh, books Brooks I love I love her projects um, what she's doing patterns <clears throat> and it's called the stitchers alphabet and um, it's on her website uh, free and I decided uh, to stitch all on one piece and I'm doing that over two, so it would be letter A, um, this one with the green and this one. Um, so that's all I've done. It's on 28 count over two. I don't remember what kind of fabric it is exactly. Oh, Joblin. Which are Joblin lamb's wool? So that's all I've done, and uh, that's how it's gonna look. Um, just gonna go down like this piece, all together. So that was first, one of the first and second part of the Stitch Mania. Um, first new project. Then I just loved. Um, I've been. I've. I was waiting until I can start doing this. Of course, you know, you can start anytime. But I just didn't want to get way too many webs because I knew Stitch Mania is coming. So I bought this online. Um, I have four dragons. And um, this is uh, called like a beard dragon. And this cutie is what I worked. And I'm doing that on a black uh belfast 32 count two over two so it's about total 19 colors and um quite few of them are blends so i'll show you um it says that should be about eight and a half by nine and a quarter maybe inches in size if it was on a 16 count which is 32 if you do over two and it was very hard for me to put down so I've um, I've stitched on the black and already started doing the uh, blended threads I think that's correct no hold on so um, I marked where the top left corner is so I always know and this is how much I've done so I've done almost, see the wing, so I've done majority of this wing right there. It's a little hard to work on the black, but um, with a little light, like if you look over the white table, um, so it's turning out, turning out great and it's not going to have a lot of back stitching, at least on the wing, it's just those black um, lines kind of accentuate and then when you get in um is that the wheat i don't know is that the wheat um so that's gonna be a little bit more work to do and uh, but yeah i love stitching this one that was one of my other new stars i'm sorry for the noise 
I kept it all in plastic. Then I picked this magazine, which is Cross Stitching Needlework, November 2014, and that's what it looks like outside in case if you decide to stitch the same thing. So, and I picked this. I don't have a lot of Thanksgiving pro uh, projects done. So this turkey, I don't think I'm gonna finish it in the exact same way because there's a lot of like um, wool applique thing. And it asked for uh, wigs that works colors uh, and I'm stitching on 40 count uh, linen that actually I um, baked and basted myself, coffee and tea. And let's see which way, this one. And I put on my frame and to compare this is what I got so there's big belly of the turkey and the part of the wing and his uh, bottom of the feet that's all I finished in about two days so uh, with them with his body I kind of went you know one by one in a row so I believe so and I like how it turned out like, with this coffee burns um, that is like baked already <laughs> with the turkey, right? And oh, and the designer is Teresa Kogut, Kogut, I believe. Yeah, and the threads, weeks that I work threads, um, all kinds of like a full color, yummy kind of apple and uh, leaves, turning leaves, beautiful colors. That's what's going to be used. So that's what I worked. Has another new start. Actually, I had one finish. Start and finish at the same time. Uh, it's like, you know, when you're near the end, uh, and if you've been working on it to finish, and uh, at least for me, it's like, I can't sleep practically. I can't eat until it's all finished and done. So that's what happened. I used um, this book by Leisure Arts. And uh, now uh, I was doing the many faces of Santa. I thought about doing um, there are like five of them. So at least four in a row. But I like the idea of uh, making my kids um, each year uh, Christmas ornaments. And I think I'm gonna use the Santa as uh, my ornament. So I was stitching this one. So my plan was to do all five of these guys. See how it, this guy is look on the red, it's beautiful. And they're also on the um, front page, right? So they must be popular. And uh, I was doing this on 32 count, I think it's MCG textile. What do I have writ written down? Ornament. So, uh, what do I put it? Like a cream color. And it's all done. Da -da -da -da. He's back stitched and stitched fully. Um, yeah, when I, I started with the beard and it's like, that's like a lot of grayish color. Does it really? But when you put it all together, it's nice. So it's not very big, you know. Um, and I think instead of making like a square pillows, I might do like a little oval things and maybe even like a poof it out like a top. Um, so if you have any other suggestions so uh, that what it would look very cool because I'm gonna be making two more times at least this one particular um, like I said it took me just the two days to to work it and I even put the year 1-8 right here <laughs> I didn't put my initials in there of course but um, yeah so I'm very happy that I did one finish right one thing less although it's gonna be need to finish twice more I'm not gonna do it right away maybe in July when it's like Christmas in July thing I might do that that time let's see um, what else I'll make sure I got 
Okay, so um, I'll show you an, another uh, last new start, what I started. It was not a lot. It's just like beginning of the start because I was working on something else. So it's called uh, Gardens of Semiramis by Modern Twist Embroidery designer Olga Mamaeva. Um, she has a Etsy uh, shop. So I don't have it printed like what it looks like. So I'll um, try to find a picture for you and insert it here. And uh, I'm using uh, 18 count uh, canvas, uh, like a brownish canvas, and I'm stitching over two. It says the uh, size is 87 by 87, and it uh, asks for DMC, um, um, Krynic braids, Karen, um, uh, what is it called? Wildflowers, the cotton, beautiful color. Beautiful color, and there's a satin uh, thread and some beads, and uh, I mean, uh, changing those are DMC. I don't know, doesn't show, but beautiful, beautiful colors and some beads are uh, gonna be. It has our preciosa beads, um, but um, you can. Uh, I found the different types of beads, you know, non famous brand kind of thing to use it like I said I just kind of put in first I don't know a little few stitches and I put on my frame that's my first canvas work and <laughs> that's it but this is done with DMC satin thread so it's very middle um, so that's kind of good practice for me when I'm gonna be doing um, um, not, what's a giant giant pieces and she died uh, in December uh, what was mandalas like um, I'm planning to do Baltic Sea Mandala um, so many have seen it anyway probably you know so anyway uh, so it's gonna be same thing style this is mandala style and uh, it took me a while to figure out um, you know how exactly to do because I forgot instru how instructions supposed to look like but that was my very last start in mania and I'm really gonna try to push myself not to start anything new until one of the things are finished because there are a lot of things I want to start and I really don't want to have millions of uh, whips uh, left so this piece that I'm going to show you that was the only thing that I changed from my original plan. I was planning to stitch like the witch by Stony Creeks or um, uh, another like a witch. But I changed my mind and I decided also uh, to work on this piece which you will <laughs> well know around the world. And I'm going to have this project as my um, project of the month that I'm really going to try to work a lot on this uh, because the 4th of July is coming. So what I'm talking is uh, Lady of the Flag by Mirabilia. And uh, that's a lot what you saw it is last time that I left off. And this is what I have as of now. So I was waiting to change uh, to go down. So I just wanted to show you. So as you see, I finished most of the stitching here and uh, also um, all the beading I've done all those beads you see shiny shiny beads up to here I lost somewhere I had a um, working copy so I have to remake middle part I lost those pages somewhere <laughs> so I didn't go up so I decided to go down and this is uh, crying and then when I was doing beading, well, before beading, when I was doing stitching in this area, 
I noticed that I messed up something in accounting. So then I have to kind of incorporate my stitches here, though, you know, unless you knew that count by count, you wouldn't know. Um, so it, it goes down as, and, and finishes here, I think, all my fudging. But um, it's fun to stitch, and it's uh, Cindy's um, fabric player fabric. Um, we the People, I believe it's called. It's 28 count. Um, so yeah, so now that I showed it to you, I can finally roll down and finish the bottom part. And then I'm going to roll up and continue beading. And then you can see there's a, my skin that's already done. Uh, I think over one. I can't even remember. It's been a while. <laughs> I never unrolled it before. Um, so yeah, so all the words is going to be in the bottom liberty. And there's going to be a little bit back stitching done between those crinic leaves. Um, I think if you've stitched this... Between the leaves, there is like a um, that back stitching, that does not involve a crinic, right? Um, from a picture that I could see, and it's, I think it's the same in here. I think it's just like eight thirty six or eight thirty nine, like a brown, I believe, in the instructions that it says. But yeah, so I have done this, my lady. So like I said, I'm going to try to do this as my focus part. And if not, I don't finish by um, 4th of July, then, you know, 9-11 is coming, Cool Labor Day. And uh, hopefully by then I will be done. But um, the last, though, not the last thing, actually. There's one more thing that I stitched a lot. Make sure it's not... Uh-huh. Yeah, I did not show you this. It's called Butterfly Scarf Slide, by, also by Northworthy Needles. So it's a call. And the uh, sheet is just in the instructions um, and a uh, little pattern on the back. And it was very nicely packaged in this little cute box with the ribbon tied up. So that's what's gonna... Come on, focus. That's what's gonna look like. And uh, I finished, uh, it was a kit, like I said, I finished uh, almost the whole front part, which is this. So I just kind of need to go all around as the back stitching and then we'll be cutting out. And um, this part is going to be where the little ch pretty butterfly charm is going to be in. And then another part that I'll have to cut out. It's a back side it's, and it's nothing to stitch. It's just a thing. So you can see I'm almost, almost done practically. <laughs> so it, the other part is not going to take me that long, but I didn't finish. So maybe by the end of the summer, I'll have this done. So Janice was very nice. Uh, um, I, when I got it from her and, uh, I'm eager to stitch be, be, uh, before the next um, uh, gathering at the St. Charles, Missouri. Uh, it's going to be, oh gosh, what's it called? Needlework Galleria. So shiny. So it will need to be wrapped. And um, it's using this pearl cotton thread that she's also the color coordinated with her packaging and it's nicely put in yep so that was the very last start of stitch mania and um what i'm ho working now and i'm hoping to finish today is um six page of boy my big boy of my washington crossing delaware I'm trying to do um, like 70, it's about 70 by um, almost 60 is what um, I counted that I'm giving myself for each month. Um, so I'm trying to slowly get a little bit ahead. Uh, and, uh, you know, I could work on that and work, but uh, when I had my 
last year heaven and earth designs uh traveler which is doctor who pattern which is uh been retired and i participated um in the sal for that um and in a month i i did the whole page which is bigger than for this project and uh, i was so working hard on that one project that by the end of it i finished it in time of course but I just didn't want to look at it. It's like it made me nauseous to even look at it. So I don't want to do it with this project because it's supposed to take five years, right? So that's what I have. And I'm going all along. Um, so I'm hoping to finish. That's what's left. A little bit of the six page. So that would be six pages long. And it looks like a big just blob of the sky. And... Uh, you won't see the, the whole thing, but this is where it ends, three inches in. So there's a little bit left to go. Uh, I think it's like 10 pages wide, but the last page is, I don't know, maybe a, like a 20 wide only stitches. So I'm going to finish that. And the way I gridded is I gave uh, myself um, my monthly amount. So that's what uh, by the 22nd of June, I'm supposed to be done. That's my goal uh, as a minimum, but I'm hoping to do more. But yeah, that's all I've done. So um, in the three young uh, Facebook, one of the groups, uh, we're doing um, like a stitch by stitch kind of thing where each month um, you have to stitch certain amount of stitches and uh it's i think it's gonna go each month up by like 250 up to i don't remember is that 4500 or something like that i don't remember but um that's what i'm working with <laughs> so you have to show um like a how you, where you started and when you finished and um i figured if i do you know finish with the page or the columns or somewhere so it's easier for me to count than you know if i do partial groupings and of course, we, we have to feather out so I don't count those feathers in um, as that thing. So, um, yeah, that thing is going well. And I found out that another um, floss tuber, well, there are several floss tubers that are doing this project. But um, I'm going to start my very first round robin in about a couple of weeks. And one of the my round robin groups, there's four of us, um, is also floss tuber and doing Washington uh, Crossing, which is Gigi in stitches. So you've probably seen her daughter. Um, she she does a sign language uh, for those who can hear. So yeah, so <laughs> Gigi. <laughs> um, we, we've talked a little bit and uh, she's excited to do that. So she has quite a bit to catch up. I don't know her uh, total stitch count or how many um, exactly colors she has right now. But um, she she got the package slightly later than most of us. So Gigi, Ginger, <laughs> you have to catch up, right? Yeah, so round the robin, wow. Um, I finally picked a, it was so hard for me to pick uh, my what I wanted to have it stitch as my patterns um, and then I sort of picked the fabric um, but then I it was LJ's fabric linen a nice blue color but then I started thinking well I'm gonna what I'm planning to have it in my ro round robin is um, Brooks books um, free pattern that um, all those uh, like advent animals so it's not gonna be enough the, on the, to have that one piece of fabric that I have so I went and went to three stitch and I ordered a different fabric hoping that I like the color because as you know the color on um, internet pages could be different than what comes to your hands right um, so but I just got it and I'll show you all my uh, purchases uh, all my uh, pretty precious items that I got in the month of May on uh, hopefully separate uh, video a uh, couple items I got was from Russian store Crossville I put the link below um, and uh, I'll show you at the separate video also what I've got from them it's beautiful you know they mostly I get the kits from them um, 
you know, because you can get patterns mostly like online and as a PDFs or something. But um, all all those who put in uh, my name as a code uh, could get 10% off on all non-sale items, which is great, you know, and it, um, for them it's useful and it's for me too, so. Uh, so yeah, um, and another round robin uh, recipient from my group is uh, reading and stitching or stitching and reading. What do you call yourself? <laughs> One of those stitching and reading. Uh, so uh, Vicky, uh, Vicky, oh. yes, Vicky, uh, reading and stitching. So we have a lot of quite few things in common. And I was talking to Ginger. It's like, wow, you know, it's a small world because her family lives, um, relatives live here in my town and uh, it's like crazy what kind of stuff we, we have in common. So it's, I always say it's a small world, you know. Um, and now I have a Disney song, It's a Small World After All, in my head. Uh, so I think that's it. Oh, the last thing is, um, well, stitching bits and bobs. I knew, I, I placed an order back in Jan, end of January, you know, I knew it might take a couple months, so I was in no hurry, and then like a couple months in, I haven't heard anything, so I sent an email asking, you know, what's the upgrade, because I, I heard she was sick, and you know, all after that, uh, what was the big event where all the store um, owners go to Nashville, Nashville market, there you go. The national market, you know, it's crazy. Every store got, gets crazy, and then I don't hear. And after a while, they say, "Oh, you know, we're somehow we just can't get certain thread." I said, "That's fine, you know, just let me know." And then a couple of weeks later, "Oh, you know, we're sending you in um, all, and we'll send that thread later." And I waited a couple more weeks, and I said, "If I don't get it by next week, uh, at least the tracking number." Um, don't bother send me. Well, nice, a little bit nicer way, kind of thing. So it's kind of sad that I didn't get certain things, but um, I just got the same things. I wanted three stitch. I placed in one evening, and next morning it's already been sent out to me, and I got it in a couple of days. So yeah, I might reconsider with them. I know a lot of people complained, but I've never had this kind of problem with stitching bits. Um, so. I might wait and see if they improve, then maybe sometime in the future I'll order again something from them. Because, you know, we all have things to stitch, plenty of things to stitch. And if you see, I started organizing my craft room slash uh, guest bedroom, or my workroom. Um, so these things are brand new, um, and it includes my um, knitting items and the crochet uh, stuff, and I have some of my um, stamping up stuff here. And um, I built a table, once I finish, I'll sort of, I'll, I'll give you a tour, but I built a ta tabletop here, I rearranged all the stuff. I had uh, stuff cut there to make a table, and my Cricut is there too. So, yeah, I'm, I'm working, and all those white boxes are my DMC threads in the bags. I don't bobbinate, it's eh. You know, then those fold lines happen, I don't care for that much. Um, so I think that's it. Yeah, so June, you know, kids are home being crazy, and like right now, has been watching a um, baseball game, and Cubs just won because it was his team, so yay! And, uh, we live in St. Louis area, so Cardinals won. Also, my kids are, a couple of my kids are Cardinals fans, and my daughter is a Cubs fan, so, you know, how it's divided, but loving each other peacefully. No fights. Um, so, I think, yeah, I'm going to try to do a recording in Lithuanian. So, if you want to listen to language you don't understand, um, I probably might, will say something different. I don't know if I'll get like a captioning in English or something. I I don't have time to translate because I want to stitch, stitch, stitch. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it. And there's going to be, like I said, separate video with uh, my purchases. For those who don't care to um, 
watch uh, all the pretties that uh, arrive in people's homes in their hands and um, they don't want to like if I open a Facebook page or some other group page and I see some somebody bought something so amazing it's like I want it so that's bad you know I'm like uh, recuperating uh, stitchaholic I'm trying not to buy except like a threads and a fabric I have plenty of patterns I have plenty of kids um, if you want to see something like you know I've been starting to collect dim dimensions kits because the dimensions company changed their um, like office or style or something like that and if you notice even a Hobby Lobby there is um, even packaging is different with the red bright border on the side and their style of uh, kits are changing a lot of them more simpler ones I don't know if I like them so I uh, really love the older ones and uh, so if you have any questions about anything I actually rambled that <laughs> I was watching um, I was watching Vicky reading and stitching uh, just before I filmed this and uh, she said she's rambling a lot and I'm like usually when I'm sitting in front of somebody I uh, I can talk like I knew them for all my life you know about anything that's what happening in my canasta group so anyway, my phone is flashing that it's time. So until the next time, this was Yurgita saying keep on stitching and atta.